Uh, you, my friend, career high in tackles, 17 is insane. I've never had 17 tackles in a game in my life. So um, when I saw the stat after the game, I was astonished myself. Open Wilson, 14 solo tackles. <laughs> had a sack too that was a that was a ha I was a happy to see that one on Watson run a stunt with Logan Wilson inside Watson never had a chance yeah that was a good one finally get that first one of the season under the belt late in the year you were mic'd up from this game I hope it's not going to be a bunch of humble Logan Wilson stuff My butt is on fire Daddy! Tackles me. it is what it is Take it easy on. what is that like knowing you're getting mic'd up I can't imagine um it's a little it's, I mean, you know, you got to be a little more cautious about what you're saying, you know, knowing you're mic'd up and you kind of got to let your teammates know that, hey, I'm mic'd up. Don't be saying anything stupid to me because, you know, everyone's going to hear it. And now you've got what, like five straight wins for your team? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, five straight right now. Uh, big one this week, obviously, going to Tampa. Yeah. And Tampa brings you Tom Brady. So Greenlaw picks him off last week and then after the game comes up to him and asks him to sign his picked ball. Yeah. So what do you make of that? I mean, we we were talking about it in the locker room some some of those guys and we're like, if that ever happened, it's be like we would want to get signed too. You know, that's I mean, that's one of if not the greatest quarterback to ever play the game, to have the opportunity to get a turn turnover from him would be an honor, truthfully. Of course. So it'd be So if you pick off Tom Brady, are you taking the ball to him after the game and saying, Hey man, will you sign this? I don't know. I just don't know if I would actually do it. It's one of those things where you like talk about it and then you actually get in the situation to do it. You're like, hmm, I don't know if I'd actually do it, but it would be it'd be a good time to get a turnover for me. Tannehill steps forward, popped up in the air, intercepted. Logan Wilson's got it. Do you want to talk Monday Night Football, welcoming the Bills to town? And that's a guy, Josh Allen, you've played a game or two with at Wyoming. That'll be fun for sure. I mean, I haven't. We played together, I think, for three years when we were at Wyoming. Um, so I had a lot of good times there. And, um, you know, he's still doing what he's doing in this league. And, you know, his development from when he was at Wyoming to where he's at now is is unbelievable. We knew he had the ability to, but he was just so raw coming out that, you know, he got in a good good position with the coaching staff there in Buffalo and they developed him. And he's, I mean, he's been playing at an MVP level for, you know, the last few years. So when you're inevitably in a situation, Logan, where Josh is barreling towards you in the open field, what's going to go through your mind? One, not to get hurdled. <laughs> <laughs> he's been known to hurdle some guys. Yeah. Um, he's a freak athlete, truthfully. And then he'll also run you over. So, I mean, there, you got to worry about everything that he's going to do with the ball in his hands. Joe Burrow said that you're the type of player that you want on your team, but you hate playing against. So let me ask you, who on this Bengals team on offense would be the biggest headache for you to personally play against? Uh, probably Jamar. He's so crazy good. He's, I mean, he's crazy athletic. He's, um, you know, I think he, he's, he's like a receiver in a running back's body. You know, that's how he breaks so many tackles. And he's just a force to be reckoned with. He catches the ball so easy too. I mean, he makes hard catches look easy when they shouldn't be but the Rams were built to win the Super Bowl and they have sealed the deal. Does this team ever talk about last year's Super Bowl when you're in the locker room? No. I mean, we're just, we have a fire, burning fire within us that, you know, we obviously want to get back and win it, but, um, you know, we got really good guys in the locker room. I understand that the past is the past. There's nothing we can do about it. And it's kind of like a tease to get there, make it, lose, and then see what it's like, you know, with the Rams to be able to win that on the opposing field. And um, it's it, it sucked at the same time, but also there's was, there was a lot of positives, you know, from last year. Like, you weren't even supposed to, you know, originally even make it that far, let alone be in that game. And um, it's just, it was a unique experience. And now that we have a taste of it, we understand um, mm -hmm. what it takes to get there. What is the ingredient? in a team that takes you to the Super Bowl, the most important thing? I would say the biggest thing is unselfishness. As hard as it is like in the NFL to have guys that are unselfish. Um, you gotta have guys that are just willing to do their job. When stuff bad happens, we don't point fingers at guys. Like we, you learn from that mistake and you don't let that mistake happen again. Who's responsible for that unselfishness? 
I think it starts with Zach, uh, Coach Taylor. Um, he always, you know, emphasizes that we love playing for him, and um, he's a he's a players coach for sure. What do we say, Dolph? They're trying to play us. Why is it better to be under underrated? Which I think you are. I think you as an entire defense are. I think you as a team that made it to the Super Bowl are being overlooked. I think that last year we were the team that no one believed in. You know, we were the we were the kind of the hunters. You know, and now we're kind of the hunted team. And um, you know, we've people have kind of I would say fallen asleep on us a little bit, but we don't really care. You know, it's just about us in the locker room and um, you know what we're doing and controlling what we can to get as many victories as we can. All right, it's holiday season. Let's do some brainstorming for gifts. It's not easy to do, but let's see what we can do together. Let's say we're at the mall. Where are we going and what are we buying for Joe Burrow? For Joe Burrow? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pry to some designer store, get him a maybe Cartier and get him some new glasses or something. Wow. Oh, new oh. Cartier glasses. Yeah. I haven't seen him rock those. He had a sharp outfit last Sunday. He's always got sharp outfits. <laughs> Who picks them out, him or Olivia? That's a good question. I do not know. I would have to ask my wife, see if she knows. Can we give <laughs> a shout check. out to your wife? You guys just got married over the summer, correct? Yeah, we did. We got married July 9th and then wow. camped like two, three weeks after that. And then it's just like you hit the ground running, you're right back into the season. Morgan's the best. Yeah. Now you're on the Pro Bowl ballot. Politicians need ask for votes. Do you want to talk to your Bengals fans here? <laughs> I mean, I would. I appreciate all the votes that, that they would be willing to give me. Um, but you know, we have bigger fish to fry. That's right. Those you have Super Bowl fish to fry in yeah. the desert. A desert NFC fish to fry. And we're wishing yep. you all the best luck, Logan. I appreciate you. Um, I hope she can hear me, Morgan, through the wall. And good luck, uh, good luck down the stretch. You got, you know, Brady, then you got your old teammate, Josh Allen, and then hopefully a road to the Super Bowl. Yep. Thanks, Kay. Thank you. You're too humble, Logan. <laughs> you're too humble. <laughs>